moving forward. That's the message. We're just days away now for the 42nd annual Martin Luther King Jr. Parade, one of the largest cultural celebrations to take place along Harbor Drive. And this year's celebration has some new attractions. Joining us live, Alpha Phi Alpha brother and president of the San Diego Alpha Foundation, Andre Mitchell. Thank you for being with us today, Andre. Thank you for having us. Of course, yeah, so we're excited for Sunday. Yes. Uh, there's a lot that's going to be happening this year. Uh, tell us about that. What can we expect? Yes, thank you for that. Um, usually we've done a parade. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it for over four decades, but this year we're adding the 5K. We're adding a Harmony Health Festival, so you can actually come down with your family, stay for the parade, do the 5K in the morning, mm -hmm. do the parade in the midday, and then stay for the festival. I love it. You want to make it an all-day event? Yes. Why not? Yes, yeah. yeah, we're down there. We've, we have all the the city and county and ports uh, right. uh, approval, so might as well get the most out of it. Yeah. <laughs> get the most out of the day, bring people together, uh, families obviously all welcome yes. uh, to come celebrate. Tell us the importance of having this parade, this celebration for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Sure, um, you know, years ago when this parade first started, it was established with the approval of the King family mm -hmm. just to promote and respect and appreciate the legacy right. of Dr. Martin Luther King, who is a member of uh, my fraternity, Alpha yeah. Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Right. Um, this year, we thought, you know, we wanted to expand and evolve just like MLK did and talk about health and the importance of health. So we added the health element with our partners at the Harmony Health Festival and the 5K so people can come down and run and get their sweat going <laughs> and, you know, get just the live endorphins a, live that going. Yeah. yeah, promote that healthiness. Uh, let's talk about your background as well. How long have you been active in planning this? Uh, obviously, you said you're a member of the Alphas. Yes. Uh, tell us about that. Yes, so I've been here since 2015. Okay. I've been a member since 1995. Nice. Um, so since I've been here, I've been a part of the parade as a consumer, um, <laughs> as a volunteer. Okay. Um, but as a planner, I'd say probably about five years. But the parade itself, um, our local chapter has been involved since 1986. Impressive. Planning this it started in a local community neighborhood, mm -hmm. and then we thought, you know, due to our leadership, Dr. Matthews, he said, let's expand this to the whole city, to the whole community. I love it. So we moved it downtown so we can get more people involved in the community. And you said more than 100 will be involved in the actual parade itself, right? Yeah, you'll see, uh, you know, close to 150 uh, uh, floats, marching bands, schools, community service, mm -hmm. uh, the military, the nice. law enforcement will be there. Uh, we got great sponsors. I'd like to just shout out the Office sure. of Equity and Racial Justice. Sony, uh, San Diego City, the San Diego City Firefighters, Local 145, Milgard, uh, Rady Children's Hospital. So we got tons of community support this year, more than ever come into this event. And I believe we have images too of Martin Luther King as an alpha with the alphas, yes. uh, which I do want to show our viewers that. But uh, for you being an alpha, what does this organization mean to you? And obviously having uh, Dr. Martin Luther King a member as well. Sure. Um, a lot of uh, Martin Luther King's initiatives mm -hmm. were aligned with the fraternity, Alpha Phi fraternity. You know, he required everyone to be uh, registered to vote. Mm -hmm. you know, to join the NAACP to actually have that, that civic awareness, that ability to advocate for your community while promoting leadership, scholarship, and brotherhood. So that drew me to the fraternity. I found out later he was already in the fraternity, so it was just a, a it's an honor to be in that organization, knowing and, that he was part of it as well. And on Sunday, when you see the masses of San Diegans coming together, people from all over coming for this, uh, describe that feeling. What's it like? I mean, you're part of putting this all together and bringing everyone together. Yeah, it, <laughs> it fills your cup just yeah. to see the community. You know, I've met friends. I've made friends at this right. event. You know, just while you're out there doing the work, our volunteers will show up early mm -hmm. and they'll put this whole thing together, including the 5K. And then at the end, when you're cleaning up, you just... <laughs> you know, exhale, but you know, you put in a good day's work. Right. But I also want to call out the fact that the day before, the mm -hmm. day after, there's opportunities to serve in the spirit of what right. Dr. Martin Luther King stood for. Wonderful. And our very own Kirsten Holmes will be the MC on yes. Sunday too. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back after this quick break. We'll have a check of your headlines and your forecast. Stay right here.